Right, I don't like to be beaten by these projects, so I've gone and taken apart project number one, which was with the same electric motor in it, the uh, lint remover. Um, so I'm going to take the motor out of this one. I've still got the little fan that that came with. And I'm going to see if I can just mount it vertically to blow air straight into the base. I don't think for one minute the battery is going to be strong enough to run both motors, but I'm going to let it try. If I can just get it off the ground, uh, that will be good enough. So we'll see. I'll take this one apart. Still got the bits of the of project number one stuck to it, but I'll say I'll take it apart, mount it vertically, and see what we can do. Right. I should just cut that circle out. Just wound up a bit of cardboard strip to make a strengthener around the uh, hole, the duct hole. That's plenty big enough. I'll hot glue that in as well. Now I should put some mountain brackets on the motor. I'll put three on. One, two, three. Mark up where I want it to sit so I can trim it. So I shall trim that like that. Right, that's the second motor in place. So I now need to wire it together and see if we can get it to work with a battery. Right, <laughs> we've got a little bit of success. Um, it's, it really can't carry the weight of the batteries at all. The motors are too heavy. Um. See, it's also killing the battery fairly quickly. Not that they're good batteries, they're cheap ones, of course, from my pound shop. Right, I'm now going to push 18 volts through it, two 9 volt batteries connected together, even though they're both going a little bit flat. notice uh, while I was testing this that I haven't got a very good seal around the edges. I had some dust around the edge and I could see it was getting blown away in specific places. In fact I can feel now it's quite high on this corner. I've just tried rubbing it on a rough surface to try and get rid of some of the high points. Um, what it really needs is a, a soft skirt around it to ensure the air is captured. I'll see if I can make a skirt out of this plastic bag. Not quite sure how I'm going to attach it, but uh, I'll see if that might work. I'll mark the outline of my hovercraft. I'm cutting around about an inch inside that outline. figure out some way of sticking that on there. I haven't got any good ideas what will stick plastic. I could just try some of that sticky stuff around the bottom edge. See if that will 
hold it at least temporarily long enough for me to evaluate if it makes any difference. sticky stuff. seemed to improve it, didn't it? Gives it some sort of a seal around the base. So that's the general idea, to give us some sort of a seal. I could probably have made an even smaller hole than that, but... Well, that seems to have improved it a bit, giving it a better seal. Right, I got fed up of trying to make it work with batteries that were going flat, so I don't have any batteries in my battery supply now. I've actually got it rigged up to a 9 volt DC main supply. So now I'm getting a decent bit of power in there. And as you can see, it works. So that's what we needed. A decent power supply. I've no doubt all the other little modifications I did helped. But the simple message was I haven't got enough power. So, so I'm now whacking a proper 9 volt DC supply through it, and that's flying now. Unfortunately that means it can't go off on its own, it needs to be connected to the supply. Um, but that does prove the point anyway. Those little fans don't have enough power to lift a hovercraft on their own unless you put a good solid power supply through them. When you do, it works. So there we go. That's the update to Bargain Store Project number 8. The changes we made were we added an extra motor with an extra fan to give us a bit more air blowing into the body. We've put a skirt around the bottom to improve the seal. That's made out of a plastic bag just stuck around the outside edge. And instead of batteries to power it we're now using a 9 volt DC supply. And we're off the ground, finally. So there we go.